So we're on the first of two LCO Communicator and i440 DX radios. This is the better one of the two as far as cosmetics goes, but seeing as I haven't finished the other set yet, uh, a lot of it's been super glued in the past and it's not going to be as good as I would like. However, here we go and we'll see whether Mr. Chippy's out there. Tango 21, Mr. Chippy, do you copy? Hello there, I ought to have switched that CB set on. Uh, right, I'm uh, I'm all ready to go. Yep, uh, right that. Uh, does appear to be working at the moment, but it's quite warm today, uh, relatively. Yeah, Roger. Okay, here goes. Roger that, coming up to the end of the lane. Roger, got you at the end of the lane. Roger got you at Ancaster service station. We're now passing through Ancaster Crossroads. Roger, and I've remembered to turn the Roger bleep off. Roger. Right, we're now passing the top of the hill to go down in towards Ancaster, uh, Wilford Evers. Yeah, Roger, got you uh, at the top of the hill. And do 40 miles an hour. And there's 20 to Mississippi. We're now going round Scratchy Corner at Wilsford. Over. Roger, got you going round Scratchy Corner at Wilsford. I'm on an LCL Communicator and I 440DX from 1981, and he's doing about 3.2 watts over. They have exceedingly good transmitted audio. You know, that's a very good scratchy corner result. It really is. Roger, got you going over Wilsford at level crossing. Roger got you at the Kelby turn. So that's his four mile point. The next one's our worst one, the five mile point. Roger got you at the Grayley's turn. Roger got you going over Rawsby level crossing and that concludes the test of this radio. Yep, Roger that. 10 10. 10 10. Okay. You see, that worked very well. I can think of a lot of big name sets that don't work like that, and I can think of most of the current models that don't work like that. So these are I always think these are underappreciated, but they are difficult to set up. And you have to hope that what's happened to the next one hasn't happened to the one you buy. And that is that some Wally has put super glue in all the cores. Right, we'll go into the base station. We'll hear what this one sounds like. I'll switch the Roger Bleep on so you can hear that too. Tango 21 testing the LCL Communicator NI440DX late version. Um, with the Roger Bleep switched on, using a standard replacement microphone into our Harriers CBHQ base station. Testing 12345, 54321. And now we'll go over to the other test for the other set. So now it's the second set. So we've swapped the, from the first set to the second set. And Mr. Chippy will be setting off from the usual point and we'll try this one out. So this is the inferior one and the most tired one of the two, if you remember.
Sound good, 25, Mr. Trippy, do you copy? Excellent. Why well, it does 200 yards. Roger that. Are you recording? I am, yes. That's quick. Well, the, we're carrying on, aren't we, from the previous test? Roger that. Sir Ryan's coming up to the end of the lane. Roger got you at the end of the lane. Roger got you passing Ancaster service station. Now if you remember when I was doing the um, service work to this radio, most of the internal adjustments had been super glued. And one of those is the S meter adjustment and it reads slightly generous. It was reading um, plus 10 for 100 microvolts instead of plus 9. But I wasn't going to start changing the preset and incurring more costs for something as pointless as that. Right, we're now passing through Ancaster Crossroads. Roger, got you at Ancaster Crossroads. Right, we're now passing the top of the hill as we're going down towards a wolf, but over. Roger, got you at the top of the hill. Roger, got you at Scratchy Corner Willsford. I'm on the second communicator on I-440DX and he's doing about three watts over. Roger that. Well, sounds really good for this ball, uh, three watts. And I'll switch to Roger Bleep on just to annoy you. Roger got you going over Willsford level crossing. Alright, we're now passing the Kelby turn. Over. Roger got you at the Kelby turn. Roger got you at the Grayley's turn. And that's our worst point. And when he comes out at the next one, which is a six mile one, that's slightly better usually. Roger got you over Rawsby level crossing and that concludes the test, thank you. Okay, I don't think there's much in it, despite the state this is in internally and the work we've had to do. Um, I don't think there's much in it, to be honest. Obviously, the better the, the other set is better, but um, in actual use, there doesn't seem anything in it. Uh, right, we'll go over to the base station once again and we'll see what this one sounds like. Tango 21, testing the OCL communicator and I, 440 DX. The second one, the poorer one of the two, into our Harry CBHQ base station. Testing one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. I'll just switch the Roger Bleep on. There we go. And thank you for watching.